Listen, it's the greatest news you could ever share with anybody in this world. If you had the cure for cancer, if you had the cure for AIDS, wouldn't you tell people about it? We have the greatest news we could ever share with anybody, that Jesus Christ came into this world, died on the cross for our sins. If we put our faith and trust in him, he will save us, and we can live in heaven with forever and ever for all eternity with him. And we need to share that with other people. We need to tell them about it. Now, the problem is, a lot of times, how many of you have seen this ice tray, ice cube tray? Been looking at it, wondering, what's he going to do with that? I had another tray that was filled with ice, but they needed it yesterday, so I, <laughs> I got to improvise this morning a little bit. So this is what we used to use to make ice, right? How many of you remember making ice this way? Yeah, look at that. You know, today, we've got this machine and the ice, you know, in the, in the refrigerator. I was going to call it the ice box. Refrigerator. And, uh, you know, it, it has a, a, a thing in there that actually makes ice automatically. It's the neatest invention there is, right? But before, what did we have to do? We took this tray. We would go to the sink. We'd fill it with some water, right? And then we'd stick it in the refrigerator, in the, in the freezer. And then we'd wait for it to get frozen, you know, and then we'd, we'd use the ice. This is what we're like a lot of times when we are sharing Christ with others. We're like ice cubes in the tray. When we have water put in the tray, what happens? It just gets molded to each one of these. It just forms to each one of those openings, doesn't it? It just kind of molds right to it. And that's good for the beginning. We want that. So as you accept Christ, we want your life to be molded and fashioned into the likeness of Jesus Christ. We want you to become more and more like Jesus, and that's excellent. But over time, what happens is things change. Just like the water that's put in an ice cube tray, you put it in the freezer, what happens? It changes, doesn't it? It gets frozen. That's what happens to a lot of Christians. They get frozen. It's like the frozen chosen, you know? They, they, they're immovable. Before, very fluid, you know, they were excited about going to church. They'd worship God. They'd study their Bible. They were excited about sharing Christ with each other and everybody that they knew. But over a period of time, they became frozen like an ice cube in a tray. And they stopped coming to church. They stopped studying their Bible. They are just froze up. They stopped telling people about Jesus Christ. So when you get the ice cube tray out of the freezer... What do you do with it? Well, you'd have to twist it. You'd have to turn it. Remember doing that? Remember, you'd have to twist it and turn it. How many of you done this? How many did that? You'd bang it a little bit, you know? You'd... And, then, and then, you know, even when you did that, most of the ice cubes would come out of it. But sometimes you'd have to hold it under some warm water, too. How many of you did that? Hold it under the warm water, and then you'd be able to pop the rest of it out of there. Well, that's what God does to us when we get frozen up as Christians and we're not doing what he wants us to do. He'll get in our life and he'll bang us around, you know, come on, come on, get busy. come on, come on, get with the program here, you know, and then, and then he'll put us under some hot water. You know, he'll, Christians don't change when they see the light. They change when they feel the heat from God. Right? Isn't that right? So God puts us in some hot situations, and all of a sudden, what do we do? We start thawing out. We start loosening up. And we come pop, come right out of that ice cube tray. What good is an ice cube that is continually in a tray? Does it do any good in the tray? Listen, you, you try to get the ice cube out so it's usable. Amen? That's what you want. You want to get it out of the tray so it's usable. I want to get you out of that seat so you're usable. That's why I do what I do, you know. I'm trying to twist you and turn you and, you know, you know put the heat on you and, you know, try to get you loosened up here. Come on, let's get busy. Let's do what God wants us to do. And the Holy Spirit does that in our life. And he puts us in some hot situations to be able to get loosened up and thawed up for him. How many of you like, here's, here's a kind of an interesting question, I think. How many of you prefer ice cubes over crushed ice? How many of you like crushed ice instead of ice cubes? How many of you like crushed ice? Well, there's nothing better than crushed ice. Right? Crushed ice with a Coke? 
There's nothing better than crushed ice with a Coke. I'm telling you, crushed ice is the best. In my opinion, you ice cube people, you don't know what you're missing. Here's the thing. God prefers crushed ice. He prefers crushed ice. Here's why I say that. What he does is he puts us under the pressure and he crushes our will. He crushes our heart. He crushes us to bring us under submission to him. He puts us in those kind of under pressure to be able to get us to the point to where we're usable for him. And most Christians, what they do is they stay in the tray and they're never usable to God. They're frozen in their place. And God says, you need to get out of that. You need to thaw out. You need to be usable. Start sharing Christ with others. Start studying your Bible. Start praying. Start going to church like you're supposed to. Does that make sense? Yeah. 